Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to this week's video, My Crafting Life. It's all about crochet amigurumi. Maybe one little finished object at the end that isn't an amigurumi. So, it's about the cheeky, the cute, and maybe a little bit creepy. So, what have I been making during February with amigurumi? Well, some little projects, but we'll start with the cheeky. It's to do with hooker versus hooker challenge, which Laura at Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming and Jan, an Alaskan crafter, are doing. And they do a project and a subscriber does a project. It's a bit involved. Uh, there's a committee that picked the project and the colours. So this month's project for February was a plant and you could use green, yellow, purple and brown. And you can join in just for fun and that's what I've done. There's no prizes, it's just bragging rights for whoever wins the challenge. But other subscribers like, or podcasters like myself can get involved. So, I've made something this month. At Christmas time, I'll just get the pattern. Thing bought me some um, patterns off my Ravelry wish list. He does it a little strange, they don't go into my library. They go into his library and he prints them off and puts them in my file for me which he started and it's Judy's Ravelry file and the one of my on my wish list was the cactus hand by Svetlana Hurava of Farney Toys now I think this was a featured designer in Amigurumi Wars last year and I really like this and he bought me this pattern and here it is this is the pattern the cactus hand and I decided I would make this for hooker versus hooker challenge in February so would you like to see my cactus hand you can make different ones but I got a little bit cheeky here we go Ta -da! my cactus hand look I used cottons they I used an eight ply cotton I think it's a five ply which is even finer um, but I had trouble with this. So, this is Peyton's um, cotton, which is this one, colour, cotton blend, 8-ply, 50%, I think it's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, made in China. Now, that's what the green is and the yellow is and the beigey colour or brownie colour. This has a colour number. The purple, however... I could not get any of the purple in the Peyton's blend so I went to Lingcraft and bought their Mark Organic Cotton this one which wasn't cheap just the one ball so what didn't I like about the organic cotton it splits it I'll put that down it really really is splitty compared to the Peyton's I had so much trouble with it splitting. It took me forever to finish off the base of the cactus hand. But what I'm going to demonstrate is rather than make like three different ones, and I may make another one. I'll just bend it up. There you go. I put florist wire inside and I can bend the hand to any shape I like. Oh, he's sticking out there. I'll put some photos of the different ways I've bent it. Now, it was supposed to be brown, but that I, I couldn't even get brown cotton here. So I had to put, use a member of the brown family. But there you go. This is a paid-for pattern. It is awesome. It was a lot of fun doing. I probably got a little... Oh, his thumb looks a bit deformed. His little finger looks a bit deformed. I probably did the cactus spikes a little big and I just used some um, scrap yellow cotton I had. But I'm really pleased with this and I probably would make more. I may even try and make it in a um, four weight acrylic and see how big it turns out and see if it's easier. I do have trouble with cotton. I find it's really hard on my hands. I don't mind the blended cottons but 100%. 
And this organic, well, I don't know if I'd ever buy it again. I've never met such splitty yarn as this one. Lingcraft made in India. Get social with us, Lingcraft. It's just, I don't know, it really splits. Anyway, that was my um, pattern for hooker versus hooker challenge. That's my plant, my cactus hand. I hope you like it. It's pretty cute. May end up in my office to let people know what I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> if I'm having a bad day. So that's my cheeky amigurumi. So the cute. The cute is I've made them before, but I decided because I've got the April market coming up, which I hope doesn't get cancelled because right now they're lacking stall numbers. I've made the Octo, the mini, and this is, a, I make a mini one because I used eight ply. This is by the Dabbling Hook. I gave him a different mouth, but he, he turned out kind of cute and he'll go on a key ring. I also made these mini monsters using red for February, the love month. This one, and then I decided, oh, he's got like a little antenna, my one there. This one in purple. Ta -da! These mini monsters are a tutorial by Chronically Crochet. They are so easy, they are so cute, and when I have put them on key rings and sold them at markets, they're very, very popular. Um, the kids love them. And I always do the mouth a little different each time. So that was the cute. And that was using up scraps. So the cactus hand took about 103 grams of yarn. The cute, there's another one cute to come. They took about um, 12 to 15 grams each. Not very much, but it's a great way to use those small scraps. Now the next one isn't really scraps. I bought this yarn to try um, that was, if you remember, if you watched the last video, uh, microfiber chunky knit from a, um, I guess you call a economical department store. Now, it doesn't split or anything. It's okay. And maybe it's just me, but I found it really difficult to work with. I couldn't sort of get stiff definition very well. So I think my leggy froggy, which is what I made with it, um, is a bit wonky. There he is. This is the Leggy Froggy. There's a pay for pattern on Etsy and a tutorial by Joe's Web. And um, I really like him. I tend to make him in four weight. I did want to try this yarn. I have one more ball of it. I can't say I would buy it again. I just found it really hard to crochet and work out stiff de definition. It's like a chenille. Sorry, I'm going over. But yes, that's my Leggy Froggy by um, Joe's Web, her free tutorial. And pa I paid for the pattern off Etsy because um, I do believe in supporting the designers. And he's pretty cute. He is popular when I sell the smaller ones on Keering. So we'll have to see how he goes. But he's a bit wonky. I can't sort of, I don't know, maybe it was just me. But um, yeah. It was three dollars, a hundred gram balls, and the froggy took uh, forty-five grams. No, you took thirty-five grams because I have something else coming up that took forty-five grams. So yes, I'll make more with it and use it up. I'll make different things with it and try different patterns to see if my opinion of it improves but for me it's not an ideal yarn for me to use having said that i don't usually crochet with yarns that thick they say it's a three ply but it's like a blanky yarn and i'm just learning to use that so next off the list let me have a look make sure i've covered them all oh joe's web also has released a leggy bunny out ready to make for easter so I'll put a link to that tutorial. There is a pattern you can purchase and I may give that a go because I quite like her leggy. I've got her leggy spider, her leggy froggy. She did a leggy heart too, which I didn't get. You never know what's going to turn up here next Amigurumi show. So the creepy. Well, this came about 
this project because I watched Yarn and Whimsy's top 25 amigurumi patterns. I really like this channel and I cannot remember her name. I like the way she presents things, the way she speaks. It's so informative and she does different ones. I think if you've watched previous videos, I watched her turtle um, where she went through turtle patterns. Um, I've watched her axolotl patterns. And this week, which I haven't finished watching, watching, so I haven't commented yet, her dragon patterns that, you know, she tries different patterns paid for and free and she different yarns and recommends. Anyway, this particular pattern out of her top 25 amigurumi patterns was number one and it was a free pattern which is a bonus and she says she sells a few at craft markets and I thought I'll make a couple for my craft market because I think they're pretty cute and it's a free pattern and it's a no so which is a bonus for amigurumi no so no so amigurumi spider pattern now I'm not even sure I can announce it crochet by chicken Chicken so doodle noop. I can't. That I'll put a link to the pattern and also a link to Yarn and Whimsy's 25 Amigurumi patterns. You've got to check her out. Anyway, that's the picture of the spiders you can make. So the first one I made, I made in some leftover um, Spotlight Super Saver. Here he is, my little spider. He does look like a spider off camera. It's probably the way I'm holding him, but he's kind of cute. Um, I did think that maybe if I make more, I might do four eyes, like double with smaller ones up here, like a spider usually has. So easy to make. No, you do not sew these legs on, trust me. So then um, in Reeves's car, because it's, um, it's got a floor stick whatever you call it and on hit the handle he's got a, a knob with a red back spider in perspex now a red back spider is found in um, they believe it originated in either South Australia or on the border of Western Australia deserts and it's a very venomous spider it's also known as the Australian black widow it can be found in Southeast Asia and New Zealand and they pretty much lurk anywhere. There is a song, I think, read back on my toilet seat. Um, and yeah, they're fairly dangerous. You've, you've got to be careful, like, like in the garden when you're moving um, old wood or bricks because they make their webs underneath and they're highly venomous. So I decided after Reeves said, why not make a red back spider? So here's mine. Ta -da! And all they really have is a red stripe down their back. I gave him red eyes. It was hard to do. I don't usually like to crochet with black, but he's turned out pretty cute. And so I have two creepy spiders. I hate spiders. I really hate them, mainly because I was probably about 10 years old and I kept calling out to my parents and because I kept saying something's on my hair and it was an old house and, um, my older brother said, you better check. She doesn't normally carry on. And when he came in and turned the light on, on my hair, near my head, was a huntsman spider, probably about the size of my hand now. It was huge. I know he ne he flicked it off my head. He'd be playing his guitar and he was whacking it with a guitar trying to kill it um, because it was just huge and it had been crawling all in my hair. So I have a phobia about spiders. I don't spray them or cure them. I generally get thing and he captures them and relocates them outside because they're all valuable. But we do get redbacks, funnel web. Oh, not so much funnel webs up here. Um, we do get um, huntsmen, which are quite big and hairy. And in Mariba, when we used to live up on the tablelands and we had mango trees, we got bird eating spiders, which were absolutely huge. Oh, they freaked me out. 
Anyway, that is my little amigurumi projects I made during February. I started out with red and then sort of sidetracked into other colours. But I do really enjoy doing the little amigurumis. The spiders, each spider took about 25 grams of yarn. This one is Red Heart Super Saver Black, which I happen to have half a ball of. Um, but this one is Spotlight Super Saver. Um, I always say they're very same, but these, the Red Heart is slightly better. There is something about this which is not as good, but it's the best we can do here down under. So, one other finished project which isn't an amigurumi. So Bod had a Palooza this week was a, a really nice beanie, but it was puff stitch. And oh, I have quite a large amigurumi pattern going from last year that's puff stitch that I really want to finish. But I don't know, doing puff stitch really hurts my hands. And I thought, no, nah, I'm not doing that. And then I might have been watching Rose Likes Crochet because she does the divine hat. And I haven't done one of those for a while. So... As part of Coco's Crochet Cow for 2024, and I think Beanie's, I think today or tomorrow, her next one comes out for, you know, the um, little make-alongs you can do as gifts. Well, last one was Beanie's, and I thought, well, I'll do another one for that. I've done a few, so I did a Divine Beanie. Ta -da! I followed Fibre Spider's tutorial. I, um, I do enjoy his tutorial. They are well presented. Um, I haven't done many lately. I might have to look at some of his blanket ones. But I do like the Divine Hat. This is Red Heart um, Spotlight for Savers and Super Saver. It was a new ball and that's what's left. It took um, how many grams? 90 grams. And this is a 200 grams. About 110 left probably a bit more but it is one of the better colors since they moved the manufacturing of it to India this is a nice bright red and this is hot ideal for me to donate to charity because it's a flat neutral color and they often don't get beanies with some of the multicolored blankets and it helps to put a beanie with it so this is a good color but that's what I did for Coco's um, crochet cow 2024 I just check out the videos if I like the project that comes out and thinks it will be useful I'll make them I'm not really jumping into the cow full on I may post some pictures on Instagram um, but it's always good she's a fellow Aussie um, content creator podcaster and it's nice to support her and I do like her cow um, so yeah Whatever comes out this week, if it's not fit for purpose for me, I'll wait for the next one. So guys, pretty much that's it for today. I started planning March. My idea being that each month I plan some amigurumi projects, nothing major, just some little ones, keep my skill, keep improving my skills and um, yeah, and theme it around something from that month like I um, I did reds for February for the love month. And just little things like that to keep my interests up while I am still knitting my projects. I was very close to finishing one until last night. I got carried away watching True Detective and I now have to take it back four rows because I've made a big mistake four rows back. So I put it aside. When you're watching something like True Detective with Jodie Foster, and it was the finale, it was really silly of me to be doing something like that. I should have been crocheting something mindless so I could watch it. I'm really annoyed at myself. But that's it for me. I've had a great week. My ribs are all 92, 98% better. About 2% still a little sore, but not hindering me much at all. Just when I turn or lay certain ways, it lets me know it's still a bit sore but yeah it's sun shining today it was raining yesterday fingers crossed <laughs> no more rain anyway guys stay safe stay well and have a go at making a spider free pattern no sew
Can't beat that. Bye for now. Thank you.